These are the Celestron Cometron 7x50s. Now, frankly, we expected to laugh at these, but then we got our hands on them. They're at a very cheap price point, so we thought, how good could they be? Well, it turns out they're excellent for what they are, and what we think they are are the perfect set of binoculars for a kid or for getting into the hobby of sky watching with binoculars for the very first time. We also noticed that the binoculars are fairly water resistant. Celestron doesn't claim that they're waterproof, and indeed there are some places where water could get in, but if you're careful, that's not going to happen. These are lightweight binoculars. They only weigh one pound, 11 ounces. So a kid can carry them around all day, safely around their neck, and they're not gonna get tired. At night, you can hold them up to the sky for a long time, and you won't get a whole lot of shake. Of course, anytime you're observing with binoculars at night, it's best to lie back in a chair that reclines if you can, or even lie on the ground, put the binoculars firmly into your eye sockets, and just get lost in the sky compact and fairly rugged. These binoculars are not only for astronomy, you can take them out during the daytime, watch animals, birds, borrow them back from your kids to watch your kids play any kind of sport. They have a fairly wide field of view. That's good both during the day and at night. And unlike most astronomical only binoculars, these will focus on an object fairly close up. My only advice, don't handhold them like this. Make sure that you've got a strap around them and put them around your neck if you're gonna be taking them out and bouncing them around. To get binoculars this good, this inexpensively, Celestron's designers did have to make some compromises, but not many. One place where you can see one, if you look very closely, is in the exit pupil of these binoculars. That's the little spot of light that appears near the eyepiece. It's what you actually look through. These binoculars, the prisms, are cast with BK7 glass, which is a little bit less expensive and not as optically perfect as BAK4 glass that you'll find in more expensive binoculars. The difference in the exit pupil is that it's a slightly different shape. It's a little bit pinched, not completely round. But the optical design is such that that exit pupil is actually very, very large. It's 7.1 millimeters, unusually large for a binocular. And that's once again good for kids because the iris in kids' eyes actually can open up wider. It can dilate wider than the iris, for instance, in an old guy's eye like mine. Celestron's Cometron 7x50, a nice compact binocular for you or for the young astronomers in your life. Space.com.